Hey everyone, welcome back. It is officially my second leg day of the week. So this is the fourth day of my workout series and I love working out legs, so I'm excited to show you this one. Um, it's a simple but effective workout. And um, let's get started. I'll walk you through the different exercises that I do again. So doing some stretching as always. Uh, some people might see it as a challenge when you don't have, when you're not at the gym and you don't have the equipment um, for, you know, the options available, but I think it's actually, you could get a lot done, uh, at home, um, with different, you know, weights. If you have just the basic weights, you can do a lot with that. So this first exercise that I do, these are hip thrusts and I'm doing it with the barbell. I have the 25 pound plates there on each end. And for hip thrust, uh, you want to have your back rested, resting on a bench or some other solid surface that you're not moving around. Um, and your feet will be planted on the floor facing straight forward. And with your hips, you're just pushing up to the ceiling. So you're pushing the barbell or whatever other um, weight that you have. You're gonna place it across your hip and just push up. And you wanna squeeze your glutes at the top. That's very important because this is a glute and hamstring exercise. So to get the most out of it, you wanna squeeze your glutes at the top. Then the second workout that I'm doing, these are single-legged deadlifts, and I'm using our 44-pound kettlebell there. So if you have the balance, you can hold the kettlebell with both hands. You don't need support, but I, I want to focus more on the actual exercise rather than focusing on trying to keep my balance. So that's why I'm using the squat rack to, to hold myself there with the other hand. Um, so with this movement, you are keeping your leg straight and with the kettlebell you're just bringing it straight down there lifting the other leg up into the air and try to keep your back straight as you come down so what helps me is to keep my head you know forward so i'm trying to look straight as i'm coming down rather than looking at the floor you don't want to put more pressure on your back so try to look forward keep your back straight as you're doing this one Again, another great uh, hamstring and glute exercise. So these are the only two that I do for glutes and hamstrings this day. Um, this last exercise is one of my favorite, but it's one of the most brutal, and you'll see why. This is a drop set that I do of squats, and I use our kettlebells. And I'm actually doing decline squats. So we have these foam triangles that you see there. And we use those whenever we wanna do decline or incline exercises. So I have my foot planted on the triangle. That gives me the decline. And what it does is it pushes the weight of your body more forward. Um, so you have more, more weight uh, toward the front of your body on top of the weights that your, you know, the kettlebell gives you. So it's a really great quad exercise. This is a quad dominant workout. Um, it's intense again, so you're definitely going to feel the burn after this. So I have, I did the first 10 with the 44 pound kettlebell. Now I'm doing another 10 with the 25 pound kettlebell. And, and I'll finish off with body weight squat, so I'll do 10 of those as well. And those three 10 variations complete one set, so you want to do four of those. Like I said, it's brutal, but it's very, very effective. It really, you know, helps we, you grow those quad muscles, really gives you that definition on those quad muscles that you want. So I'm just completing my 10 body weight squats there. And, uh, and that's it. That's my workout for my second leg day. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. Remember to hit that like and subscribe button so you can help us grow our channel. And we'll be back tomorrow with our final day, which is arm day. So until then, peace.